Hey Tribe, welcome to HGDC, HD Designs Crochet. On the channel today, I'm putting out a vlog and it is a schmoosh of all of the footage that I've taken over the past week. So last Sunday, my vlog went live and that was about my granny square curtain and the progress that I've made on that. And I left you, I was on row two. And now a whole week later, since recording that because i normally record on saturdays and today is saturday i am on row six and i have been making loads of progress as well um stocking up on centers i didn't expect to make as much progress on this project and so what i'm gonna do is i'm smooshing all that together and putting it in a vlog for you to see so it means you don't see my face um but that's okay just wanted to really use up some of that vlog footage I've got and whilst it's not my usual podcast you're still seeing a lot of crochet and a lot of crochet chat um one thing I will say is a lot of the vlog footage I have taken from my comfy cozy crochet corner and so it doesn't look like I've moved or that it's even a different day but I assure you that it is um, I might switch it up when I vlog now and make sure that I'm sitting in a slightly different position which has got to be better for my posture anyway. Um, so happy watching, I hope you enjoy seeing the process and some of the behind the scenes uh, that goes into making such a project and can you believe how quickly it is building up? I'm not going to hold myself, um, I'm not going to set any goals or anything, but who knows where I'll be this time next week. Um, so happy watching and make sure you go and watch the crochet playlist if you want to see more of a regular vlog. AK Tribe, get comfy with your drink and stay tuned. Happy watching. I've said happy watching how many times now? <laughs> AK Tribe. Get comfy with a drink and a crochet project, and I will see you again soon. Hey, hey, tribe. 31st of August at 20 past 10 in the evening. I've just finished editing the vlog that is going to go up. I haven't even named it yet, but I'm talking about the progress on my granny square curtain. I've got two rows so far. And I've just lined up the next row and I've put it on my pencil. So <laughs> I've now got a skewer of crochet, my crochet kebab. And I am loving it, it's ingenious. I'm gonna put that in my project bag like this and I'm gonna sit there in church tomorrow and I'm gonna take each color off, starting from there and add them all in. This is amazing. It's just, systemized <laughs> my crochet and I love it so I just wanted to show you it real quick um, yeah talking of systems I thought up of a system to track all these little vloggy footagey bits that I'm making so that I know where I'm at because every week I get to the end of the week and I have to sit and go through my phone and look at what I've recorded I never have any idea look at my crochet kebab so I'm going to be kebobbing in church tomorrow from there down but right now my bath is being run and I am exporting the vlog that I've just done about my two rounds my two square my two rows of my curtain so I'm going to leave you with an image of my kebab Kebab, kebab, kebab. I think I'm going to have to name a vlog the crochet kebab. Um, which is quite funny because I'm always saying that crochet is edible and this just looks like a skewer of crochet. And the ends look good too. <laughs> so I'm going to go and have my bath and read my book. I'm reading Lean In by Cheryl Sandberg, I think her name is. The COO of Facebook. And I'm going to switch off for a little bit and then I'll get out of the bath and I will put on some of these before I go to sleep because 
I love to crochet first thing at night and the last thing in first thing in the morning and the last thing at night. It's the best way to start and end my day. Okay, tribe, bath time. Hey tribe, it is the first of September and it's about I don't know something to six and I've just fished out all of this pink yarn that I have left. Um to continue my curtain so so far I'm on row four and it's taking about 50 grams to add two rows and I need to do 21 rows I've used two balls so far there's another one downstairs so that's row six that'll be 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 is that right let me just count that again so I've got Four already, one more downstairs, which will equal six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, which is great. So it looks like I've got enough of this yarn to join the entire thing. I did want to edit, but there is no real need to edit, so that just leaves the tabs. And I was gonna rush out and buy some more of this yarn, but as I'm trying to stash dive. I think what I'm going to do is get as far as I can and if there's none left for the tabs I can use the colours that are in in the project and if I really don't like the way that looks then I can go to the shop and hope and pray they've got some of this. Um, I brought it quite a while ago so the odds of it being in the shop are quite slim and I can hear some of you saying go get it as a backup but a lot of this yarn stash I picked up as backup and that is how it gets in this like sheer size. So I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to add them in. And then I'm going to see what I'm working with. In my head, the colourful tabs don't look as great as these as tabs. So I guess I best hurry up and get these rows added. So I can make that decision sooner rather than later. Okie dokie. Hey tribe, it is Sunday the 1st of September, it's 20 past 9, I'm just waiting for my last meal, yep, I know, I eat late, um, and I, I'm just working on the 5th row of the curtain, it looks so, so striking, I'm really pleased with it so far, um, and this little pencil setup is working really well. Um, my vlog went out today about, um, what did I call it, making a curtain, that was it, and one of you wonderful subscribers, um, suggested I use a hoop earring because I can put them on and I can close the clasp and that is a really cool idea. I don't have any hoop earrings but if I find anyone getting rid of one. You know I'm going to get it. Um, yeah. Row 5 looks absolutely spectacular. I'm just loving it. Let me lay it out so you can see. Um, I was actually on row 2. Well, I had joined and sewn in the ends on the first two rows and I have today with church, a visit to my grandmother's and a little bit of time at home. I have sewn in the ends on four rows and I've started joining the fifth row. Um, and you know it's quite strange but when I have an entire day stretched out ahead of me to crochet I get a bit done but when I've got loads of other jobs to do I reward myself with like 10 minutes crochet so I say to myself Okay, I'm going to get the shelves painted on my um, shelving unit and then once I've done that I'm going to sit and crochet for 10 minutes and then I say to myself, oh, I'll just finish this row and then, and then I'll go on to my next task and then I will um, do my next task, I don't know, do my food prep and then I'll say, right, I'm going to sit and have 20 minutes crochet as a reward. 
And that is how I get so much done. And it also helps that I had like an hour and a half during service today in church and then a visit to my grandmother's. So, super productive day. I am actually really tired. Um, it's not been a restful weekend. So I'm gonna try and get into bed for about 10, ready for my half five alarm. So whilst my food finishes, I'm gonna add some more to this row. And then I'll check in with you with some more progress as and when I make it. Which, if I carry on at this rate, you'll be seeing rows six, seven, and eight very, very soon. And I kind of thought it would take me a fortnight, and so then I wouldn't vlog for a fortnight. But I recorded making a curtain yesterday. No. On the 30th, I think, of August, it went live. No, oh, I did. I recorded it yesterday, the 31st of August, and it went live for you lot today, the 1st of September. That's not two weeks worth of work, so you might see this a lot sooner than I actually said. Okay, I'm going to add some more onto this lovely little project. I just think the colours look so good. And as my nanny said to me, if you concentrate on the pinks, you can really see the pinks popping out. Then if you concentrate on the yellow, you can really see the yellow. And then if you look at the purple, you can really see that come through. And it's just a really nice blend of colour. Okay, let's stop admiring it and let me get some more work on it. See you on the other side. Hey, hey tribe. I haven't turned the tumble dryer off, so you're going to hear the noise. Um... It is the 3rd of September, it's about 20 to 7. Um, I got this project ready last night, um, ready for church, so that when I got home it would be ready and waiting. And when I was getting it ready, I realised there was a little mistake in it. And it's really, really bugging me. So, let me show you. I have set up my next kebab. Um, somebody has suggested I use a knitting needle with a cap either end, like stitch stoppers, and that's a really good idea. Um, so I need to raid my stash and see what I've got. But anyway, here is my curtain. We are on row five. One, two, three, four, five. So pleased so far, but when joining, I didn't slip stitch into that one. It's left a great big hole. Ugh. I'm so annoyed by it. And I know I could get a thread, a bit of yarn, weave it all in. I don't know whether to try and do a repair job on it now or just rip back all 11 squares. I mean, the right thing to do is to rip it back, but it's 11 squares. I want to start on row six. And as soon as I saw that last night, I kind of put the project down. It's annoyed me that much that I could put this in time out. And if I put it in time out, we're not going to get going. So I think I'm going to go and look through my scraps. Oh, my tummy's making noises too, just to, just to join in. I'm going to, here we go. No, oh, not that bit. I'm going to go and look at my scraps because when I was sewing the ends in, there was a little bit of pink left over from a ball. So I'm going to find that. I'm going to see if I can repair it. And then if not, I'm going to rip back 11 squares before I can then put them back on to get onto row six. So frustrating because I feel like progress was booming. I hate being inefficient. Hate it. But I'm just going to look at it as I get more time to work on this really cool project. I am loving the colours. And... Like, I don't think two round granny squares are practical if you want to get a lot of work done really quick. But this is so gratifying. It really is satisfying. I know the project isn't building up really quick. But... Oh, just look at it. 
It really is satisfying. Other than that great big hole. Ugh. Um, but away from the great big hole, it's so satisfying. I'm loving the way that the colours are working out. And I've got a project in mind for a mini dress in two round squares. <gasps> oh goodness. But then I also have a Harry Potter jumper in my head. I want to start an arrow knitted cardigan. Oh my goodness, Tribe, there's so many things I want to make. So many. All the things. Um, oh goodness. Right, my tummy's making crazy, crazy noises. I'm gonna get a little bit of yarn. Sort out my hole. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm so, so annoyed. This is why, Tribe, when you are crocheting, please check your work regularly because had I have checked this, I would have realized my mistake. And then, oh, and what's so silly as well is I was at home when I made that mistake. Quite simply, that square there should have slip stitched into this one and I didn't. So this is why you need to check your progress regularly because I have gone ahead got to the end of the row, I'd straightened this out to pick the next colour centres to put on my kebab and realise this. So check your work. Two, two round granny squares are everything. I am madly, madly in love. Right, I'm going to fix my problem. <laughs> oh, I've got to get that sorted. And I'll check back in with you. Hey tribe, still the 3rd of September and it has been a whole 4 minutes and 29 seconds since I last recorded about this problem. I um, went in my, st like, I've got a jar of ends. I took out this long piece of the joining colour and I've just sewn in. I mean, it looks slightly different but that would just be fine. I had to do it relatively tight because it's got to bear the weight and it's fixed. I can't believe I was actually going to rip out a full 11 squares for that little ish when I fixed it just like that. And I've just sewn the ends in either side of it and you can't even tell. Look, I was showing you the wrong one. You can't even tell. So I am free to move on to my next kebab. You, you, you. I am going to pack up, go and get my mother, get us into church. If I'm there a bit early, I get more crochet time. So, I will check in with you. I might check in with you when I get home, just so you can see how much I've done in like one session. Um, I've got to go all along this square, uh, sorry, all along this edge, which I'm really looking forward to doing because I get like continuous crochet time without stopping and starting and then move on to the kebab which I've got just here Um, let's put the end one back on sorry guys uh, yeah so there's my little kebab Um, start from the pointy end take them off and that will go on here and then I'll work all the way along back to the edge so I've got a lot more um, of the greys in this one. Another thing that I'm going to do is, in there is normally all my centres, but I've took them out whilst I nip to church tonight. I'm going to put them all out in piles of colour so that I can see um, how many are dwindling because I know I've got no light greys left. I know there's none of those left. Um, and then I'm going to make a huge wadge of each colour again just to stock up my stash because as I'm getting further in um, I want to make sure that the colours are still evenly spread out so like on this row I've put a lot of pink in because the row above didn't have as much but then that means on this row that I have to put more of the other colours in um, just to keep it spread out and there's going to be a lot of neutrals throughout so I need to make sure that I make double at least of like these colours so that there's more of that in there because at the moment looking at it I do feel like there's a little bit more pink in there than I intended 
but you can see how many more neutrals there are compared to like if you take a section there is there is an even mix but I'd like there to be more neutrals so that just means careful placement because for example there was a lot of pink there so I could have put a lot more neutral down here but it's a work in progress and I'm really pleased with it and it's growing so quickly um, and of course once I put the sixth row on I will then sew the ends in I sew the ends in on once I added two complete rows so I'm loving it I'm also loving like pictures like taking pictures like that just of the granny squares like zoomed in all different angles um, and the the wallpaper on my phone is actually a zoomed in picture of the granny squares from my promise dress and speaking of dresses definitely need to do a mini dress in this so I'm gonna have to do some research and what I'd like to get and this is turning to a little bit of a ramble <laughs> But just thinking out loud, what I would like to get is a book that shows the fashion through the ages. Um, I'd really like some reference books so that I've got some images and whatnot. Um, I'm really, really, really loving, like I'm a 90s kid, I love that 90s grunge look, but I'm also quite into the 70s. So just like some reference books so I can look at the classic mini dress, thinking like twiggy mini skirt and make one. But anyway, for now, Pinterest will do. I'm going to jet off so that I get some more crochet time. And I'll try and check in later on tonight if I remember. So I will see you soon. Hey tribe, it is the 4th, Wednesday the 4th of September. And I think it's nearing about 8 o'clock in the evening actually sure let me check on my Mac oh it's ten past eight um, you can hear the microwave I'm warming up my evening meal I've also got some food cooking more potatoes yes well spotted <laughs> potatoes are my thing I was gonna check in with you last night to show you this but I didn't actually get back till quite late um, because I ended up going for food after church so I'm showing you now six rows two four six are now added i've also come all the way back on myself and so i've now got two rows of ends to sew in so that's a hundred ends um and then before i line up the next row on my pencil skewer i am going to sit and make a shed load of um centers again because my stash is running really low yes food my stash is running really low and i want to make sure that i've got an even mix um but i just wanted to show you what i'm working with um let's get it laid out oh gosh it looks awesome now i'm gonna rush off because that saucepan sounds ferocious it's stir fry and then i'm gonna eat my food and i will check in with you at the next stage hey tribe it's the 4th of september still and now it's like 10 past nine so an hour later and i've separated out the centers like i said i was going to and this is all that i've got left and all of these colors need to be in there so I'm watching Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. I'm gonna let myself watch one episode of the subtitles are annoying me because crochet and reading is ugh. Um, I'm gonna make a, a batch of circles to top up some colors that are missing and running low. And then I'm gonna make myself have an early night because I'm grouchy. I've been running off like five hours sleep for the last four or five nights and it has caught me up and um, I'm trying to declutter the house and tidy up upstairs and it is stressing me to the max um, uh, I don't know 
I shouldn't go into it all now, but basically I'm going to have to get rid of more than I intended, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just don't feel ready to do all of that right now. And the storage that I bought and repurposed, I'm having doubts about. And I think it's because I'm tired. So I'm going to have some meditative crochet time. Watch Marie Kondo. Warm up my hot water bottle and hit the, hit the hay. Go to bed nice and early. So you see this pile now. Next time you see it, it's going to be like, boom. Okay, see you later. Okie dokie tribe, I've just watched an entire episode of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. I've now got a pile of jewel purples, more pinks, used up all of the lilac, and I've just started on the white. It's not a huge, huge pile that I thought I might have to show you, but I'm happy with progress. Um, I like having a little system on the go, so I'm picking out a colour, topping up the pile and then I am putting the colour over here. I'm not using that lilac so I've put that out of the way. Um, and what I'm going to do is take a couple of colours up to bed with me and when I wake up in the morning I'm going to make some more centres out of them so I can pick them out now because I can see which ones I need a lot of. I think I'm going to do a lot of the neutrals. Uh, because I want more neutrals here than the colour, so we'll dig in. Um, and also watching the Marie Kondo, Kondo, well, crochet has soothed me, crochet always soothes me, but watching the Marie Kondo um, got me thinking about all of the stuff I've got upstairs, it's all my craft stuff, um, and sort of just sitting here crocheting you kind of hold thoughts in your head and I just I already know that um, crochet and knitting are my loves and that's what's important to me so my yarn stash is really really important and I want that easy to access um, and I want it to dis be displayed really prettily because I love my yarn and that's what sparks joy for me and then added on to that, my jewellery making stuff, I'm going to go through it and try and half it. But I do want to keep quite a bit of the jewellery making stuff because I've got stitch markers and other ideas coming up that will use that. Um, so although I don't make jewellery, it's going to be yarn related stuff. Um, and then I've also got an idea for Stella too that's going to have some sort of embellishment. So really want to keep that stuff um, spinning I have never used my drop spindle I've never used the fiber and I'm just I really don't think I'm ever gonna get into that because crochet is my joy so the spinning stuff can go not that I've got a lot but there's a lot a bit and then the other big section is my journaling stuff I used to junk journal a lot more and I've got a lot of stickers a lot of washi tapes so yeah, I'm going to let all of them go. I think I'm going to donate them to my church. Um, I just don't use them and all the time they've been up there, I've barely ever touched them and it's just taking up space and it's more clutter and I kind of feel guilty for not using it. So I'm going to let that go. And I do feel a bit sad but then I don't because just the thought of having, I just want my yarn my overlocker, my sewing machine, my printer, my books, my magazines to go with. But again, I'm going to go through the magazines and get rid of a load. And then some of my jewellery making stuff. That feels like a happy amount. It's just them making all of that fit. So. Yeah, I've been thinking about storage and the best way to do it. Um... Yeah, but anyway, I'll probably cut this little bit out and put that in with the reorganising video. So I think once I've got a nice amount in the piles, I mean, if, if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, the 17 colours, 
If I do 10 of each, that's 170. It won't get me to the end of the curtain, but it will be a good stock up. So um, I've done 10 of those, but I might just say to myself, I mean, do you know what? I'm gonna have to work out how many square centers I need and then how many of each color I'm gonna make. Um, that's not gonna heavily feature. So I might just add in another six or so of those. I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. That'll give me 20 of those. That's all I've got of that color. Um, and then the neutrals, I'm gonna go for about 30 odd. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is head off to bed, give myself an early night. So I wake up feeling refreshed and when I wake up, I'm going to start making centres out of these. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Hey try. Today's the 7th of September. It's Saturday and it's gone 5 o'clock. Um, I'm just showing you my update on the centre central. Center station. So I've added to that pile, that pile, that pile, that pile, that pile, a few of them, those purple, those, 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 and these are the colors left to add. So what I'm going to do is I have got a vlog to edit and put out and I think I'm just going to put together a schmoosh of all the vloggy stuff I've taken over the last week because in actual fact I have done a lot and I know I'll hit the 30 minutes so you won't get to see my face this week but that's no big loss for you all is it you can see plenty of my face in the playlist you can go back and watch any that you've missed or rewatch your favorites um so I'm going to edit that. I need to nip out and do my food shopping because adulting, yeah. And then um, I've got these colours to work on. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, these, there needs to be a lot of. Don't worry, I've got more of some, most of these colours hidden away. Um, like... The size of that grey pile, I want these piles to be the same um, because I'm going to be mixing in a lot of those colours into the curtain. Um, so I can work on that tonight at some point. If not tonight, tomorrow in church and when I go on my visits tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then one of the other things I want to work on is Stella 2 that's almost ready not only is it almost finished but that pattern is almost ready to release which is why I am not going to set up and record anything today face to face because I want to use my time to crack on with that the sunshine is streaming through so this must be blindingly bright for you um but yes I want to crack on with Stella too so I can get that pattern out to you as soon as possible. Um, I've also took other vloggy footage along the way because I'm doing a major tidy up of my room and merging HGDCHQ into my room. So I'll put little snippets of that in, but it'll probably be its own vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed watching all of this footage that I've put together. And I hope that you have a really good week ahead and click subscribe click like and i'll see you again next week for more of an update um but just before you go i'm going to show you this oh six rows deep six rows in tribe six whole rows i'll see you again next week my words were last week i don't think i'll get much of this done and you won't see any of it and I was here. So I've added four rows since then. So we'll see where we are next week. Have a blessed week. Catch you all soon.